In today's video, we're going to talk about body shells. And as you may know, the body shell market has exploded in the last two years for touring cars. And there's been several different uh, body shells coming out every year from a few different brands. And I often get asked about the um, characteristics of these body shells and how they, how they handle on the track and how they feel compared to each other and which ones do I recommend for a specific class for stock or modified. So I was going to give this general info and um, the positive um, in doing this video is that I don't have a body shell sponsor currently so I am unbiased when it comes to my comments and hopefully you will get some useful info out of this video. So what do we have here? We have three body shells which I find to be the most interesting ones to use on the X3 T4 or any touring car for that matter right now. These body shells are the, the most interesting ones on the market. And if we start from this side, we got the uh, Extreme Twister, which you may know, it looks very similar to the Su Racing DBX, which came out in uh, 2019. And this body shell is a body shell which we've been using for a long time. It has very good initial steering. It's proven to be a very fast body shell for both stock and modified racing. And it's still uh, my basic choice, my first choice for, for most tracks. And uh, what's the difference to the Su Racing DBX, you may ask? I mean, they look very similar. The difference is in the small details and also the wing shape is a little different, which I'm going to show you a close-up of the wing in a bit. Um, in the middle we have the, the body that came after the, the twister. It's the, the next body from Extreme Aerodynamics. It's called Speciale. And Speciale was a development of the twister. It's got some small updates to the shape of the body shell. The wing shape is different as well. It's got a flatter wing without the ridges of uh, the twister wing. And the Speciale, in my opinion, is a really good body for tracks where you need a car to be a bit smoother. It has a bit less initial steering than, than the twister has. So it's uh, very well suited for stock classes. Um, but also for modified. If you're racing on a track where the twister just feels a little uh, initially too nervous or too direct, the Speciale is a bit smoother and carries a bit more corner speed. But it's usually between these two bodies, for me personally, uh, right now. Uh, some tracks seem to favor the Speciale and some tracks seem to favor the Twister. The lap times are usually very similar in between these two bodies. So that's the two bodies from Extreme. And on this side here we have a fairly new body, it's called the, the Wolverine. Is from Sue Racing. The Wolverine is a body, it looks a little bit like the Hellcat from Sue Racing in the rear. A Hellcat, the Hellcat is a body which came out in uh, 2019 as well, which was a very popular body shell. And the Wolverine looks a little bit like the Hellcat, but the front looks more aggressive than the Hellcat. So it's definitely uh, a nice looking body in my opinion. I really like how it looks. It's also um, handling well, but from my testing that I've done, it had a little bit uh, less front grip on corner exit compared to these two bodies. And it felt a bit more neutral on the track, so in my opinion it felt like it had less downforce than these two bodies. So the Wolverine, in my opinion, is a very good body, especially for stock racing, for high grip surfaces. For modified racing on uh, lower grip surfaces, I didn't have that good of a result with it yet, but I only tested it a few times, so might need to give it a few um, more tries. But so far I cannot recommend it for modified, um, mainly for stock for uh, high grip surfaces. So let's look at these bodies in um, closer detail and I'll show you some of the, um, of the data and the measurements on these bodies. So. Let's move on to the next step. All right, so let's look at the technical aspect of these three bodies and how I ran them. So first of all, I ran them all in the 0.5 millimeter weight, so the lightest possible 
weight that are offered. And just for reference, let's put this twister on the weight scale to see what it weighs. Race ready. Okay, so this weighs in at 71.2 grams. Worth mentioning is that I ran a 0.7 millimeter weighing on all three bodies because I do feel that for modified it's needed to use a bit stiffer wing than the supplied wing with the 0.5 body. So a 0.7 millimeter wing, a thicker wing that's supplied is recommended for modified to have the best possible downforce. For stock classes, I do recommend using the supplied 0.5 millimeter wing. That's perfectly enough for stock. You don't need a hard wing for stock for most conditions. Uh, the wing is mounted, as you can see, a bit towards the back. So I got a five millimeter distance here between the wing and the and where the the wing mount starts. So this gap here, I usually measure this to be five millimeters to mount the wing a bit further back to generate more rear grip. I use hoodie. Uh, carbon side dams. They're really light and really strong. They will last you a long time and they provide very good consistency for the for the wing. Improves uh, side bite, side traction. Car is more stable in high speeds with these on. And as for the mounting distance, I've made posts and videos about this before, but I always measure this distance here from the lower line of the front window to the center of the the body post in the front and this body is actually mounted for carpet so it's 69 millimeters that's the distance I use for the twister and the speciale for um, carpet racing for asphalt I use it two millimeters more forward at 67 millimeters so that's the twister all mounted up. Okay, so we have the Speciale here. As you can see now when it's a close-up that it's very similar to the twister, just some small differences in the shape, mainly in the front of the body shell. I think the rear has been made a little bit longer in this area as well. So um, difficult to see an immediate difference, but there's definitely some small details which affect the handling on the track. The wing is Obviously very different, it's flatter, so it's got a different shape. The flatter wing provides more downforce, so that's going to lock in the rear more. So let's say if you put this wing on the original twister, that's actually going to make the twister more stable and vice versa. If you put the original twister wing on the Speciale, it's going to make the car have more steering. And the same wing mounting distance on this body shell. The same carbon fiber side dams. And this body shell is also mounted for carpet, so it's 69 distance between the, the lower line of the front window to the center of the front body post. And just for reference, we're gonna pop it on the scales as well should be about the same weight as the twister was. It's actually a half a gram lighter, it's 70.9. It's almost identical weight to the, to the twister. And finally, the Wolverine. If you remember how the Hellcat looks, you can see that it has some resemblance at the rear part of the body shell here. But the front end has received a revision, so it looks rather different, more aggressive, to generate more front downforce. This was my first Wolverine that I mounted, so I actually I went um, a little bit by feeling, but I also spoke to some of my teammates from the US to figure out the right mounting distance and I ended up with 64 millimeters here 64 
which I felt was a good distance for asphalt. Probably if I if I would run this on carpet, I would try to mount it at 66, so two millimeters further back. There's also a 0.5 millimeters uh, body shell, and it's actually uh, very light. So this is a big benefit with uh, with a Su racing body shell. If you race on high grip, it's gonna have um, less of a tendency to traction roll because the body shell is actually lighter. So let's put it on here, see what, what it weighs. So this is pretty impressive, but it weighs in at 64 and a half grams. So that's six or seven grams uh, lighter than the, than the extreme body shell. So a really light body shell indeed. I'm running the 0.7 wing on this one as well. You can actually use the Hellcat wing as well if you have one because it's uh, pretty much the same, if not identical. And I mounted it with a um, bit of a gap here as well to move the wing towards the rear. So yeah, I hope that this data has been useful for you in mounting your body shells and um, choosing the right body shell for your racing. Thank you for watching.